Hey, Internet, Big Al here, over here at Paler. Let's take a look at the snap and grid uh, method, a precision method of drafting. As you saw before, we just went through the dynamic uh, approach where we uh, keyboard entered, if you will, uh, very specific uh, numbers um, that the computer then took and made some accurate drawing with. The question is, though, when we're moving the mouse around, okay without using the keyboard how can we be accurate because our hand cannot differentiate a ten thousandth of an inch when we're moving the mouse around so that's what we have um, that's one of the purposes of the snap and grid where is the snap and grid right down here okay see snap grid right down here in your buttons on your status bar okay I want you to click snap I want you to click click the uh, click grid Okay, so they turn on nice and blue. Okay, I have everything else turned off. Okay, and here you see I zoom this. Now, if yours is not zoomed up this big, just go to View, um, Extents, okay, and it will zoom itself up, and then you're all set. I zoom this up so that you can see the grid. All right, uh, let's take a look at this grid and see what it is. Well, um, can we, for instance, I'm going to turn on O Snap. Can we, for instance, measure the distance between them? Yep, half inch. Okay. Can those distances be changed? Yes. Okay, and I'll show you how in just a minute. Let me turn O snap off. Now notice my uh, crosshair wants to go wherever it wants to go. If I turn snap off, it can float any place along the grid. Only with snap turned on will it go from point to point on the grid turning the grid off and leaving snap on allows me still to jump you know puddles to jump all over the place okay so let's leave them both on snap and grid leave them both on for now let's draw something uh, I don't know stairway I guess we go from there to there to there to there to there so on and so forth you can do just about anything you want thinking about laying out a complex integrated circuit or a very complex um, a piece of architecture in building and you'll see how how powerful this can be. Uh, let me erase this temporarily get rid of that and now let's look at this grid and see how you go about adjusting it. For now go into OSNAP, right click OSNAP left click settings okay up comes your draft setting windows and hey look right here they have a tab dedicated solely to snap and grid left click snap and grid okay on one side you see the snap spacing that is to say the jump spacing on the other side you see the grid spacing they both happen to be set to a half an inch both in X and Y okay these can be set independently they don't have to equal each other uh, if you want this to be a half an inch and this to be an inch okay then it will jump in between the dots so on and so forth okay so you can change these values any way that you want to help you draw a very complex piece of artwork that um, you know requires high degree of precision and hand control of the uh, of the mouse. If you don't want to use the, the hand control of the mouse, then you can go back and you can just type the values in using the keyboard. Uh, that's called uh, my cell phone. Uh, hello. Oh, hi. Yeah, let me sign off. Okay, so I just got a call from my good buddy here, so I'll talk to you later. This is Big Al at Paler. Thanks.